hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I say hi. Tell your grandmama I say hi. Everybody in the fam. Uh, salute to everybody that watched us on Fox 5 New York yesterday. Shout out to ARP, Big K for being guest. Showtime SP, all of the producers, the cameraman, the stageman, the security guard, everyone over there that accepted and brought what we was doing to a higher level. Uh, truly humbled and thankful for that opportunity and we look forward to doing it again in the future. Now that we got that out the way, we got to talk. We got to talk because this is something that I told you. I made a blog saying that Ace I mean and uh, Piranha was going to be canceled because I was hearing rumors that it was going to be canceled and then they had Truffaut and Jack Boy and a bunch of battles that was going on um, taking over Battle League in um, Chicago and the event was supposed to be taking place in Harvey. And I was like, yo, do y'all know Harvey? Have you been to Harvey? Go look at a YouTube video from Harvey. Like, are y'all crazy? Like, a lot of people say, oh, this is just promotion. This is the way it goes. And I'm like, no, 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 absolutely not. I've been, I was in Chicago last summer and I want to go back to Chicago again. I got a lot of love in Chicago. It's our third biggest demographic after New York and Philadelphia in terms of viewership. So I know the city very well, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say I know every single part of it, but I've been to the South Side, I've been to the West Side, I've been down Gold Coast area, I've been over, I've been through the city, and I know how they play. This battle, this whole situation was a recipe for disaster. It was not gonna go well. And people could say what they want, or it was gonna be safe, and it was, Chicago not no city where y'all could have this shit that y'all had going on and still show up, think it's gonna be good, love, and it's just not gonna work like that. Now, you could do that in certain other cities, like, hmm, let's see, like, uh, like a city like Maryland, like Baltimore, right? You could have an issue, but it'll be on one side of the town, and then if you way somewhere else, you know what I'm saying, you could probably still get off with doing that event. Or if you got an issue in D.C., you could have an event in like Virginia or like, you know what I'm saying, different parts, Alexandria. You could move around. Chicago ain't like that, bro. I'm telling you, Chicago ain't like that. On phone numbers. <laughs> Shout out to all the dudes in Chicago. All, all the gangs, you know what I'm saying? I, I got a lot of love out there. I promise you, Chicago ain't going like that. That was not a place that they was gonna be able to move around comfortably after some of the things that had happened. And that's just the way it was. Like, and then you're not from there. They beef with people that live literally less than half a block away. Like, they'll have beef on 59th with all of the niggas from 60th Street. And they live right around the corner from each other. What makes you think that with what they had going on, they was gonna be able to fly to Chicago Hop in a car, trust where they was riding. Bro, in these type of situations, security be in on it. They cousin work at the door. They, they, dog, play if you want and see how that was going to go. That's what I was saying this shouldn't happen. I don't care. I'm a proud civilian. I'm only here to entertain my fans and take care of my family. FTK, the gang is in here. Feed the kids. Shout out to FTK. I've seen a lot of people represent the game. I got the logo, then I'll show y'all the logo. Because we about to push this joint up next. FTK. Feed the kids, that's all I'm here for. I don't give a shit about none of this extra shit. The fighting, the, 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 the all the mob mentality. Peep the logo, FTK, feed the kids, baby. We are here, you know what I'm saying? We are gonna get that put on some shirts, we are gonna get that on some hats. FTK, we here to feed the kids. Not feed the fuck shit, not feed the arguments, not feed the fights, not feed anything that's gonna tear down our communities. That's what we here for, we feed the kids, bro. Mother kid gang. If it ain't about my kids, it ain't about nothing. It ain't, I promise you. Now let's get into this, right? So Ace I mean was uh, gonna battle against Piranha. Some paperwork had got exposed. Piranha knew the paperwork wasn't real, but he wanted to do a battle rap troll anyway, saying that I don't give up if the paperwork is real or not, I'ma still promote it. Hey yo, what the fuck? Y'all look at that as battle rap. People in the streets don't look at that as battle rap. He knows, he's from Detroit, shout out to Piranha, I love what he does. He knows that 
that's not the angle that you go at, that's not the route. Because if Ace Amin had fake paperwork on Piranha and put it out, he would be livid. So what Ace do, petty gets pettier. Ace puts out the little video or the pictures of his mom or whatever the case may be. And it wasn't nothing that was like off the chain. I seen it. I didn't really think too much of it, but still, that's his mother. You know what I'm saying? So when you put somebody's mother out there, he don't put paperwork out there, the air is all clouded anyway. I didn't know how they thought this was going to go down. It was not going to end well. Then you had all this stuff, the Jack Boy going back and forth with Trufo. Trufo said, uh, he was, I was watching this interview with Three Letter Men, salute to him, and he was saying, you know, because he had just lost uh, the battle to Ace Amin, then he wanted to shoot it over. URL, what type of shit do y'all got going on? Yo, y'all got mad negativity. Y'all make yourselves an easy target. No, no pun intended, but you do. You got all this shit going on blocking battles. Now you're doing rehearse battles. Now you're doing redo, redo. Fucking redos, are you niggas crazy? You sound like you're still a crackhead. You were a crackhead. <laughs> oh, on there you sounded like and looked like a crackhead. Where is the brain going where this could even be considered a thing to even look as an acceptable practice? We don't do redos. You choke, you stumble, the battle's over. Trufo choked in every single round, trust me, I know, versus Ace I mean. It is the probably, it will never, it, they shouldn't release that battle. I, it's probably going to get vaulted. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You don't get a redo. The fact that he even thought that he could get one is crazy. And you know why? You know why this happened? Because Trufo was on the trenches card, right? He backs out of the trenches card. Now he's catching all of the backlash, all of the people talking, everything. The only one person that had a, even a decent performance off of the trenches card that backed out, the back out boys, well, a couple of people who did all right. I mean, Holmes, he beat Thesaurus. You know what I'm saying? But Thesaurus was choking, choking and stumbling and shit. Don't ask me how I know, nigga, I know. I don't know why you act like I don't. The story's choked like a couple times. Holmes, he beat the fuck out of him. Uh, Snake Eyes beat Prep. Uh, and goddamn, what's his name? True Foe choked there every round versus Ace I mean. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, uh, all the niggas that, and then Danny had his, his easy, this bad karma, bad juju. When you do dirt, you get dirt. Bitch, I make your shit hurt. Stop acting like I did work. Rest in peace to DMX. But that's the truth. You know, karma don't never miss an address. Just because you back out on him and all of the niggas backed out on him, the same shit is happening. Karma spinning the block. The only person that had good juju after that was uh, Swamp. That's because he backed off. He kept his mouth shut. He didn't stay in the news. He didn't continue to go back and forth with people. He got in, got out, and he took his plea and went on about his business. And I respect his handle because I hear what he got coming up too. So I'm not mad at that. Plus, the nigga already knew he was on the contract. The rest of the niggas, they just backed off the card because they got told, like, yo, you're, gonna, you're, you're not doing this card. Y'all could tell the public what y'all want. I know what was told. Yo, y'all doing this or this, or if you go over there, stay over there. That's what was ha that was happening. You go over there, stay over there, we don't even care. Period. I know new rappers. I was talking to a brand new rapper yesterday that was trying to get just a debut or a tryout over there. And they was told, yo, if you got other situations going on, just entertain them. You can't even you can't even come over here now with a thought or a premise or any reality of thinking you're gonna battle somewhere else. If you wanna go to URL, you're gonna be only there. And if you wanna go somewhere else, don't even come over here. That's the mentality now. Cool, I don't care, I'm not a battle rapper. I just talk about it, so I'm gonna get paid regardless. And uh, so, right, I knew for a fact that this event was not gonna go well. It wasn't, it was not. It may not be the artist. The artist be like, oh, you were safe. Wasn't nothing gonna happen to you? Yeah, that shit sound good when the artist is telling you, but what about his homeboy? What about his man? What about his cousin? What about the nigga from security that'll take 500 to let a nigga bring a gun in? What, this shit, and it's not just here. This ain't one of the, like, and I'm not, and I'm not saying that because of this, but I know for a fact Harvey gets crazy. Little, bro, little dark brother got killed in Harvey. In Harvey. He thing comes out the club, bam, killed him right there on the spot. Of course, he had all kind of beef. But then after he got killed, two other people got killed like the same night. This shit is crazy. Play around in Chicago if you want. When I made that blog, I meant that. I was like, bro, y'all niggas is going out there to do this? To Y'all think y'all going to play with them? All right, see how that works. Now Piranha's making spaces. Ain't no such thing as halfway crooks. They're going to call y'all niggas shook. They're going to say y'all pussy. They're going to say y'all was scared. They said it was a safety concern. You damn right it was a safety concern because I ain't going to lie. I was concerned about you niggas' safety. I, Jesus said the flood. I was concerned about these niggas' safety. I'm not saying that they soft. I'm not saying that they not built like that. But being built like that can get you killed like that. I was concerned for you niggas' safety. I'm glad that that shit is not happening. Now, as far as the event goes, the card has been demolished. Uh, you got Ace I Amin mean, not going. Cuban not going. 
uh, Ace I may not going, Cuban not going, Jack Boy may not going. Basically, the DMV is not going. You know what I'm saying? So now I don't even know who's left on the card. Let's talk battle rap. Put out a status. Salute to Let's Talk Battle Rap. Jack Boy Main says the DMV himself, Ace I mean, Cuban won't be at the event. And that's the TOS Rotten to the Core live June 23rd. And that was next, uh, that was coming up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that was next week. Yeah, next Friday. My niggas is like, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Because if you know like I know, if you know like I know, that wasn't a good idea. You know what I'm saying? You got to go to the airport. You got to fly in there. We know you flying, so we know you ain't got it on you. And the city not going to turn against the city. So they ain't going to pipe you up. You know what I'm saying? They ain't going to turn you up and have you riding around with them killers. And then the thing is, what was you going to get from a rap battle anyway? Like, what kind of money was you going to get on the back end? The back end was not worth what you was going to get riding around the city. You got to be with the killers and all that. What? So I hope there's a lesson learned here. You know? I hope there is one. Because all this extra shit for the promotion... Y'all could have promoted it with just straight up battle rap stuff from a competitive nature because you had Stiz from Battle Academy, salute to Stiz and Battle Academy and all that he does. He just was in Chicago with his guys battling against Chicago dudes. It was all up and down. They was on 64th and you know what I'm saying? They went to King's Ride, it was on Old Block. They were riding around, they got a lot of love out there. But it's, that's when it's competitive battle rapping. Once you cross that and y'all start putting people's mom's pictures up there, putting paperwork up there, that shit not gonna end well. That's not gonna end well. Cause my cousin don't give a fuck about that battle rap shit. He know you put his auntie up there. He gonna be blowing at your fucking head when he see you. It's just the way it goes. My nephew don't care that you put that shit up there. He just know you put fake, fake, fake paperwork up on my man. And my man live in the city. He got to still be here every day. And it may not be maybe somebody who's not as in tune with the battle rap shit as you may think. And all they know is the first thing that came across their timeline, paperwork, so and so. So now they see you and they got an issue with you. This whole shit was a. Uh, I made a video saying that the event that the battles was gonna be canceled, and I'm I'm not I'm a lie. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't mad they got canceled. The card has been pretty much shredded. Uh, only battles that I see that'll probably happen still is uh, Gage versus Head Ice, Merlo 100 versus Dot, and somebody named Shiesty Foe versus Boss Moves. Never heard of most of the MCs I just said, but so what? Um, Piranha versus Ace I mean, not happening. True Foe versus Jack Boy May, not happening. Heavy Hat versus Cuban, not happening. Um, here's another thing, right? You know, Trufo, you just did this. And I know you're heavily invested, you know what I'm saying? I know you wanted this card to go down, you know what I'm saying, for the city, the yada, 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 but you just did this. You, you literally just did this to uh, easy to block happen. You're, this is the same thing. You backed off the card about a week or so in advance. Now a bunch of artists backed off. You basically getting, you y'all getting the same treatment that y'all just gave the trenches. Uh, do I think that they got they was forced to back off the card? No, I probably feel like they was heavily advised though. Like, yo, this might not go as we as y'all think. It's four of y'all going to a damn zoo, <clears throat> and you gonna be there, and the whole city, may, the whole city may show up just to just to boo y'all or just to give y'all a hard time. And Harvey's not a town that you play around in like that. Anybody that's in these comments can let you know about Harvey. I don't even have to be the one to let you know about Harvey. You can jump in the comments and they'll tell you themselves. I got people that's here that's gonna let you know that. Um, you know. So in this situation, nobody really gets the upper hand or the win. Ace Amin and all the rest of these guys, they, they look like they backed out of a battle. And Jack Boy backed out of two battles in two days. I don't know what the fuck they got going on over there. But um, I'll say this. URL guys, just stay on URL. Y'all might as well just stay on URL. And when y'all leaving, y'all trying to get these other looks, there's always some shit going on nowadays. They making y'all niggas back out the battle. People are saying they could do things that they can't. Then they finding out at the last minute, once the flyer is released, that you getting threatened saying, if you go over there and do this, you can't never come back over here. That niggas is going to hit you with the, oh, my livelihood. Oh, I got kids. Oh, I had to make the best decision for your family. Nigga, you ain't had no fucking family before you accepted the battle. You ain't had, you, you ain't had no kids. All you niggas had kids after y'all accept these fucking battles. Stop the bullshit. We don't want to hear that. You got, you got put in the corner, and niggas told your ass to go sit the fuck down, and that's exactly what you did, and that's what niggas is doing. Not saying that's what happened on this card, but I'm seeing it happen over and over and over again. Danny jumped on the trenches card, and he was down with that motherfucker till the ship was about to sink. Then he told them niggas, this y'all beef, I'm not in it. Goes back to URL and gets his ass kicked across the street by Luke Castro. This nigga probably put Luke Castro on Summer Madness. Danny, you put Luke Castro on Summer Madness with your dumb shit. And you ain't the only one. You're not the only one. 
True Folk Battle, Ace I mean lost every single round. I got $1,000 if he won a round. I know he didn't win a round. Don't play with me. I know he did not. He lost every single round, choked in every single round. And Ace I mean kicked his ass across the street. Calm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who was on that card that, that backed out. Every one of them is not getting good juju right now. Um, I like the Midwest movement. I like the new Midwest movement. Uh, it's going to be really hard. Like... They could have events in Chicago, not saying that they can. I'm not saying Chicago is like fucking Vietnam, you know what I mean? But they got a lot of pride in their city, and they not going to let nobody just come up in there talking crazy about them and showing pictures of people's mothers and paperwork and all. Nah, no, 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 no. So, unfortunately, it, the, the event, they said it's still going down. Half the damn card done got pulled. Everybody there with a URL name is not on the card no more. Um... But I would rather battles get canceled and events not happen over somebody go out there and get themselves killed or potentially get themselves killed. You know what I'm saying? Because if you tough and they tough, but you go into their hood, they could bring everybody that's tough with them. They could have easily been 100 niggas standing outside that venue on every single side, every single door waiting to see what was going to happen. Now, I understand what they may tell you. Oh, no, it wasn't going to be like that, man. We had mad love for y'all, man. It was just some battle rap shit, like I said. His cousin, his nephew, his homie, his big homie, his mans, his, the dude that drove there. Them niggas don't give a fuck about no battle rap. Only two people that's in the contract is the actual artist. You can't control the niggas that's going to come up there that want to see what the fuck you talking about when you talking about where I'm from. That's what I'm saying. And y'all can't act oblivious and be like, yo, you're not about it. You bugging. It was going to be safe. Uh -huh. Safe for who? Safe for what? You know what I mean? It was a risk not, some, <laughs> some risk is not worth taking, especially if you ain't getting to the bacon. Um, so yeah, that's just how that went. Uh, you know, I, I guess, you know, I guess. But this is not a joint where I don't feel like it was a whole bunch of pay-per-view sales. That was, was a whole bunch of ticket money, et cetera, et cetera. This is some street shit, you know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> when it comes to the battle rap shit, any type of event, that's not really like by a league and niggas is trying to put the bread together and you hear terms like, yo, we got bread invested in this and we got this invested in that. It's usually somewhere that ain't safe. I'm just saying. When the rappers <laughs> when rappers pull up, this is how you know, this is how you can tell the difference between bigger tiered and lower tiered rappers. When rappers pull up to different cities and they be like, oh, if you need a verse today, we popping out. Or if you need a video shoot, like, all this other shit. It is usually not in those safe places because you don't see Future, you're never going to see Lil Wayne, you're never going to see Drake, you're never going to see none of these big name artists, Lil Baby, popping up in the hood like, yo, I'm on uh, I'm on the south side of Chicago, who knew your video? I'm doing two for one today. That shit not going to happen. When it comes to these battle rap shits, when they're not sponsored by a big league and you hear the terminology, we got our money involved, yada, 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 them niggas is not playing because that's their personal money and that's a personal loss that whoever the league owner and whoever's got this situation going on is going to have to take because they just lost half their card. But do I feel sorry? No, because I just seen Easy lose half of his card. I see niggas get blocked on other cards, but that's just what it is. But shout out to everybody, you know what I'm saying? Hope all is well. Ultimate Rehearsal League, y'all got to stop this shit. Y'all letting niggas reshoot battles now? Lord have mercy. Jesus send the flood. When did, when did, we, when did that become an acceptable practice? That, that just, oh, if I fuck up today, I can battle you tomorrow. I heard the battle didn't get redone. I'm glad that it didn't. It shouldn't have never even been an option. That's what I'm saying. Because you had the situation early in the year. And now, and then this is what I said. It's like a traveling circus. Niggas be around each other every week. Friends here, doing this, doing that. Yo, in my third, I'm going to start like this. Booty, booty, boo. And if you had a rebuttal, da 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 with the da 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 go da 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 When you do that, nigga, it's, the, the battle is compromised. I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day. I got things I need to take care of. I got some production that I need to do. Uh, I got a lot of work going on. I got a meeting with the network later. Shit is good, man. Stay up. Don't miss the layup. And I'm not mad that this shit got